You're listening to The Money Hour with your host, Tina Mitchell, and co-host, Keelan Harvey, on Alternative Talk AM 1150. Now, back to the show with local mortgage experts, Tina Mitchell and Keelan Harvey. Welcome back to The Money on 1150 AM, KKNW, the Saturday, January 11th show. I am your host, Tina Mitchell. And I'm your co-host, Keelan Harvey. It is a great day to talk about money, and that's what the show is all about, how to make money, save money, so you can have a better quality of life for you and your family. If you're listening to our show at a different time or day, you are listening to a rebroadcast, but you can connect with us by going online at themoneyhour.com or call into the show at one 855 Four hundred eleven fifty. Again, that's one eight five four five four hundred eleven fifty. And in studio right now, we have Laura Curry of Difficult Happens. Are there more jerks in the world now, or it is a bad behavior on the rise? Laura, I'm really excited to see what you have to say about this uh, uh, topic. You always give us a great tagline for the conversation we're going to have with you. Great to have you back in studio. <laughs> it's so great to be here. Yeah, it's the journalist in me. <laughs> I love it. Love it. A little bit about Laura. Uh, she's a trainer, speaker, podcast, and author of difficult happens, how triggers, boundaries, and emotions can impact you every single day. With 27 plus years of experience in high conflict positions, she has a unique and intuitive understanding of why people act and react the way they do. She is passionate about helping people communicate in the increasingly reactionary world, make honest and meaningful connections, live with less stress, and establish strong boundaries. Laura, well, your title's got me interested. What's the answer? <laughs> Are there more jerks in the world, or is bad behavior more prevalent? What's going on out there? I would say yes and yes. First of all, <laughs> there's just more people in the world. So, you know, you got the odds on that there's going to be more jerks in the world. Yeah. But really, it, when it comes to leadership and when it comes to responsibility, it's from the top down. And when you see bad behavior from your teachers, from your bosses, from people on TV. I mean, just think of all of the the live shows, you know, where you watch people. It's sort of that, what is it, Schoidenfrada, where you watch people suffer. You know? mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, if you're in Japan, that's pretty much their entire primetime lineup is watching people get injured. You know, it kind of brings in this negativity into the environment, mm-hmm. and it has people behaving, you know, mimicking that behavior. So, Laura, why is that? Is it because of our young generation, like Keelan? (laughs) Just a bunch of jerks. (laughs) Everybody loves to blame the millennials, but I hate to tell you folks, this stuff started with the older generation. It even started with the boomers. They used to call them the me generation. It was when people started to explore themselves. They started Mm. to dive into, well, what does it mean to be me? Do I want to go along with the status quo? Do I... Who am I? You know, a lot of the, the self-exploration that happened during wartime where they started to question, you yeah. know, going along to get along. So that, that me generation started doing a lot more personal development. And just like, you know, Newton's cradle, everything ebbs and flows. You always get personal develop. you know, without it, I wouldn't have a job. Personal development is the muscle that does the lifting for mm-hmm. professional development. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can't learn something about, you know, professionally... Uh, being at the height of your career without having a strong personal self, you know, a lot of personal development. Mm -hmm. So you need both. But then when it becomes to the exclusion of all others, to where it's a me, 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 well, that's when we run into trouble. Yeah, and the personal development is the foundation. It's the foundation that you need to support the growth that you want to see in your business. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of skewed because Tina's influenced me in a great way. I don't notice as many jerks anymore because I really focus on not, I can't control the people around me, but I can control my attitude. So I go around in the world and I just do my best. Sometimes it's going to bother us for human beings, but I check myself and do my best to uh, to kind of reflect on what's happening and don't let it affect me. So um, I'm, sh- you know, it's on the rise, but I don't notice as much. Thank you, Tina. You're welcome, Keelan. <laughs> um, that's the kryptonite. You found the kryptonite. That's why he if, walks around with a smile all the time. That's right. <laughs> I try. <laughs> if I just would have listened at, at West <clears throat> Queen Anne uh, grade school in playing soak them with my friends. Yeah. I'm rubber, you're glue. Whatever you say, <laughs> bad stuff me, and there sticks you to go. you. There's a reason if that I would have known. Uh-huh. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so is that the answer to deal with bad behavior? How can you, what can people do to help if you're out there and, I mean, that's my kryptonite, I guess, but what are your, what's your thoughts and feedback on that, on what people can do to try to get it to not affect them and 
you know, stay positive. Yeah. Well, you know, it's it really is kryptonite. If mm-hmm. you just, first of all, take a beat. Because whenever someone's angry at your face mm-hmm. or whenever you mm-hmm. see something that you really don't like, mm-hmm. your first reaction is defense. You know, you mm-hmm. want to put up your defensive and, first of all, set this person straight. on why Fight or then, flight. That's, Fight or flight, right? That's right. Mm-hmm. They call it the fight, flight, freeze, or appease. Oh, I like that even better. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so there's four different reactions that we have. Wow. And, you know, I went to Franklin. So I'm, <laughs> I'm a fight kind yeah. of gal. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's not the reaction. A tiny fight type of gal. That's right. It's yes. that Irish in me. You uh-huh. know? <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> Watch out for those tiny white girls. <laughs> Especially the Irish ones. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, you just, first of all, don't get so defensive. Just take a beat. Mm-hmm. Because in reality, 98% of every angry person, every angry interaction has nothing to do with you. Yeah. Yeah. It has absolutely nothing to do with you. It could have been the I-5 traffic. Yep. It could have been the fact that they just lost their job. It could be that they didn't, didn't get sleep or they have a puppy at home mm. that won't let them sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> could be anything. So, don't, you know, don't match defense with defense. Yeah. And I, I always say for, for me, I, I focus on my positive of triggers, which is little small things that make me happy all the time. And then it's, it's, you know, that makes it really easy. And then I just come from a place of compassion because just like you said, you never know another person's space and what they're in. And it actually helps you to come from such an authentic compassion to where you feel so bad for them that they just don't get it yet. Mm-hmm. And our, what we sometimes people don't realize is our reaction. We're actually have to be accountable for the life of somebody else in many lives because how we react to somebody could have a ripple effect in a very negative way if it's not a good um, uh, response to it. But if you give them a smile when they're really angry or doing something wrong, that can have a ripple of effect of, wow, that was really great. Maybe I should try some of that. Yeah. So Laura, let's talk about your three top mistakes that you see people make. Yeah, the first one is getting defensive, mm-hmm. getting defensive and assuming that it is a judgment on you. Yeah, because even, you know, I, I hate to tell you, even if it is a judgment, you know, what if someone says, hey, you, I don't like your gray hair yeah. or why wow, you've gained a little bit of weight. It's all a judgment that's still about them. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, it, do you like your yeah. hair? You know, do you like the weight you've gained? Maybe. Or the money hour. <laughs> that show is terrible. <laughs> that's right. That's right. But if you love the product that you're putting mm-hmm. out there, then you can get curious. Yeah. You know, you can be like, oh, that's interesting. Tell me more about that. Or yeah. you can just say, neat. Yeah. You, know, you don't have to take in that anger. And the second thing is don't make assumptions on what people are thinking or feeling yeah. or, you know, just ask. Just ask the question, clarify and verify, Mm -hmm. because when you assume it leads to defensiveness, which leads to judgment, which can start that cycle of conflict, which you never want to happen. And the third is ignoring the little things, ignoring Mm -hmm. the micro boundaries. You know, you want to make sure that you check in. If you get a little twinge of something, then you want to make sure that you don't just let it dissipate and let it disappear. Laura, can you give us, and we talked about micro boundaries, and I thought that was so interesting last time we had you on the show. Can you tell us a little bit more about breaching micro boundaries and how that can kind of inch in and affect you? Yeah, you bet. You know, everybody knows about boundaries. They're big boundaries. Mm-hmm, you know, if mm-hmm. I come at you and I'm trying to steal your, you know, steal your wallet or something. Yeah. Oh, hey, you know, you got to Or the donuts boundaries. that Gina's brought us today. <laughs> Don't come right. over here and steal my donut. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I, I dibbed that one, though. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the little tiny things, the micro boundaries that we kind of just let slide. And those are are the boundaries where they create a crack that opens a fissure for manipulative people to walk mm-hmm. right in and walk right over your boundaries. So it's the saying yes when you really meant no. It's the contract parameters that you have that then get skewed a little bit. It's people or clients who are expecting more from you that you're not willing to give and continue to push and push and push until you push back. Those are micro boundary breaches that you really want to watch out for. So let's talk about um the what's bad about just a good enough employee Mm -hmm. in the workforce? Mm -hmm. Well, especially in this day and age. And actually on my podcast, I started doing case studies Uh just to show people how one bad employee, one toxic employee Mm -hmm. can ruin a company. It can bring an entire company down. I mean, you look at what's happening at the University of Washington right now Mm -hmm. with the police department. You look at the Away scandal, which is the luggage company that was CEO and co-founder had to just step down. When you have someone who is just phoning it in or is real marginal, maybe they're not really even bad. Well, the rest of the employees that are going the extra mile, the employees that who really love the mission, vision and values of your company are looking at that and going, well, we get paid the same. We get the same parking spot. You know, we get the same accolades. 
well, why am I going the extra mile when this person is being yeah. tolerated and this behavior is being allowed when it's never addressed? Yes. So, Laura, what do you mean when you're uh, about training your staff to deal with people? You mentioned dealing with people. Yeah, because bad behavior is on the rise Mm -hmm. and because so many people are at a heightened emotional state, Mm -hmm. when you're in a high conflict or high stress field like real estate or mortgages or as a first responder, nurse, I mean, frankly, I think even sales nowadays, it has clientele that comes to them already triggered. And when you're already triggered, you're defensive. You're Mm -hmm. at a higher emotional state. Mm -hmm. So you need to be able to identify what that person needs. Are they a perfectionist? Are they a controller? Are they a pleaser? Are they an avoider? Are they a victim? Talk to that. Talk to their fear and just bring everything down. Calm everything down because the real person is in there. But if your frontline staff does not know that, you're going to create a horrible client yep. and you're going to create a bad experience for that client who is going to get on Yelp, who's going to get on Google reviews, who's yes. gonna, you know, and you don't even know it. You're in your office back there really crushing it. But if your frontline staff doesn't know it, then you could be creating a bad client experience. So true. So Laura, let's uh, jump into your book really quickly here, Difficult Happens, How Trigger Boundaries and Emotional Impact Every Day. You talk about the impact trigger reactions that we that we all, that are in all of us. Mm-hmm. So what does that look like? Basically, you we are triggered all the time. Mm-hmm. We are triggered positively. Oh my gosh, I'm at, the, I'm at the studios. I'm so excited. I always have a great time here. And that's the way I was triggered when I first uh-huh. walked in. The bonus was the show that was happening exactly. in the lobby. That was phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm triggered automatically to think I'm yes. going to have a great time. So I'm having a great time. What if this wasn't a great time? Yeah. You know, but my body doesn't know that. It's ready for a great time. That's yeah. a positive trigger. A negative trigger is you see that client, that client who doesn't mm-hmm. stop calling yeah. and always oh, showing up in your email or what. You automatically are triggered and you're triggered to an emotion mm-hmm. joy, happiness, anger, regret, you know, whatever it is, trepidation. So you need to check the facts on that. But those are happening in us all the time. And the very last thing is the emotion, the feels. Mm -hmm. It shows up in our body. Our body keeps the score of every single thing that we feel, whether it's joy, whether it's fear, whatever it is. So those impact you every single day. And if you want to know how to deal with it and how to navigate it, check out the book. Love it. (laughs) So, Laura, um, let's say you've triggered somebody. You've been triggered, and I love that word of triggers, and it's Mm -hmm. so cool how Tina taught me how to control my triggers. Mm -hmm. So it's always positive, which (laughs) is the ultimate goal. We're not perfect, but Mm -hmm. what can you do about it if if you've noticed that you've affected somebody or they're affecting you in breaking those uh, micro boundaries? The very first thing is to slow down and take a breath Mm -hmm. and ask questions. You know, give them time to process verbally. Sometimes when someone's triggered, well, always when someone's triggered, it's immediate, it's visceral, and it's physical. So just giving them space and time. And if you feel that they're open to it, do some clarifying and verifying. Yeah. You could even say, wow, that came out really rudely. I so didn't mean that. What I really meant to say was we can always get a backseize because we all make mistakes. And so we are more willing to forgive other people for making mistakes. Yeah. Great, Laura, Think great advice. Thank you um, so much. And thanks for coming in. Look forward to having you back on a, another topic. The information that you're sharing with the world is so powerful and it's so important because like you said, everybody has the negative and the positive. Mm-hmm. And majority of people are stuck in that negative where you could just learn some techniques and how to communicate better and how to draw to be your best self from your positive triggers your day and every day moving forward will be a lot better. So Laura, thank you. Really appreciate you coming into studio. Thank you. It's always a great time. And coming up next to the money, our real estate strategies for success. We have Gina Madea right here on 1150 AM KKNW after the short break.